we owe it to our veterans who have um, done so much for us. Only on two strangers from across state borders are helping Oklahoma's homeless veterans. A group from Indiana delivering more than 100 backpacks. Two Works for You reporter Travis Guillory shows us how distance bears no bounds when it comes to honoring our brave service members. Victor Lazama, founder and director of the Barracks, a transitional facility for veterans, had some friends come in from his hometown, Evansville, Indiana. And so they surprised me up in Tulsa and we all hung out. But the biggest surprise came Tuesday morning. Come to find out that in the past couple months they've been uh, collecting over 100 backpacks for our veterans. Soap, razors, towels, you name it, overflowing from 103 backpacks. We just got the word out um, and we ordered some backpacks and started handing them out to people kind of in bunches. For homeless veterans, they don't know. For a community, they're not a part of. This was done just out of on a whim. They just decided to do it because they, they believe in this project on what we're doing for our veterans. Um, even though we're not in Indiana, uh, they saw how it could affect our, our veterans here and help them get off the streets. And these backpacks are a small part of the bigger picture of what the barracks is really all about. This facility is where it is right now because of our community. There, there's no way that any of this would exist right now. The power of friendship. People just brought the supplies over. To this day, they're still thinking about not only me and what the project we believe in, but also about our community here in Muskogee, Oklahoma. And the power of service. We hope that um, people, our veterans recognize that they have support. I mean, if nothing else, that we're, you know, there are people here that they've done so much for are willing to give back to them in whatever way we can. Even from 600 miles away, in Muskogee, Travis Guillory, Two Works For You. A little really does go a long way. It does. It's a great project. And by the way, a day will be set up at the VA for distribution. And if there are any backpacks left, they'll go to the bunker here in Tulsa.